contrary to experts' opinion, urging the president, Nana Edodan Kwekufado, to reduce the size of his government in order to cut down costs, the president has rather pulled a stunner. Not only has he increased the number of ministers, he has also created new ministries. Notable among these ministries is a minister designated for inner cities and Zongo development to be manned by Honorable Boniface Siddiq. Now we are going to talk to some Zongo dwellers to take their reaction on this new ministry created. To be honest with you, we are very excited, especially in the history of this country, that has never happened. Zongo people have never been recognized to this level. So we expect one, his mandate we don't know. But what we expect is let him set a, a team of researchers so that they identify the Zongo communities and then they will gather certain information. The party or the government may be having certain ideas of what kind of development they are anticipating. But the people may also be having certain things that has never been known to the government. And so the research team can help and have certain things that will help the government to build the Zongo even beyond the expectation of the government. I feel that um, the newly created ministry was not necessary because over the years, the, even the already established ministries are not doing what we expected them to do. I don't think it's going to work because the Zongo community are such that um, they've lived together like in unity, they will not allow like a ministry or government to come and try to break some of their houses to create, to put them well in shape and structure. They will not allow it because some of them have lived in the Zongo community mostly, basically all of their lives. We are very happy initially for the opportunity that the government has really introduced to the Zongo community. And our expectation is the ministry will come and do well to help the Zongo community in terms of development. For instance, in terms of education, in terms of sanitation, in terms of helping the youth to get a job. So we are really happy for them. We are praying to Almighty Allah that He will guide them and to help them to initiate whatever that they want to do to help the Zongo community. We are happy because before a president uh, we appoint a minister like that, he know what he's doing. And before he appointed, he showed us their qualification. So that is the reason why he appointed them. So we are expecting a lot from them. So they have to, they have to help. What they have to do, they have to help the government. Sometimes you see, when you see our environment, uh, our distant area are very local. So we don't have, you know, any arrangement. If you see like our houses, even the gutters, sometimes when rain come here, we, it affects many people here. So this is, these are very important for this. Uh, we need in this uh, community. We only expect, in, inshallah, to God give him, God give him correct life, good prosperity, to have patience, to watch the Zongo community, and do as she can to do as the Zongo community. The thing we have to do is to look the environment. The environment have to be clean all the time. Some as the people has to pack roughly. Sometimes there is so many traffic in, in, this, in this community. When you are working from here, Nima, to this Nima police station, you have to take about one hour. It's not good. She so have to watch all this thing to clean it out. I hope, inshallah, God will help me to do. I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy to see something like this.